Hey kiddos, it's time for you to glaze your pottery. You're gonna get back your coil pot that you made last week and you'll notice that it went from gray to white. So inside the kiln, the heat changed the color of the clay and now it's very hard and it's watertight. So you could put water in this right now. You wouldn't wanna drink it though because there is powder and dust from the clay. So what we need to do is glaze it. When I say glaze, I mean we're painting it. But when we're done painting it, I'm gonna fire it in the kiln again. And when it comes out, it's gonna look shiny. It's going to be more colorful and bright. And when you put liquids in it, none of the powder or dust from the clay will get into your liquids or your food. Now, you're gonna paint the inside. You're gonna paint the rim. You're gonna paint the walls, but leave the bottom with no paint. We do this just so when we put it back in the kiln, the glaze doesn't stick to the shelf inside the kiln or melt and stay there. So you wanna leave the bottom plain, paint all the rest of it, any colors you want. Let me interrupt myself for just a minute to show you the colors, the glazes that I have available. If you look here, I have all of the colors that are labeled new. Those new colors are available. The rest of the colors, I'll have to check in my supply closet and see if I have them left. So go up to that top row in this picture and you'll see that I definitely have the maize yellow and the pumpkin orange. I have scarlet red, lilac purple, robin's egg, and robin's egg is just a teal green. I've got medium blue and that Granny Smith, which is a yellow green. I know I have green leaf, green leaf, and I also am pretty sure that I have the frog green as well. I've got that cotton white and the coal black. Now, like I said, I will dig in my supply closet and see if I have the other colors left, but you will definitely have primary and secondary colors available. Now these colors are also mixable. So if you do want a gray, what can you do? Mix the black and the white to make your own gray. If you want a sky blue, what do you do? Mix some white and medium blue. And if you want pink, what do you do? You can mix white with that scarlet red that I know I have. But please mix on a separate plate and leave the colors separated in the ice cube tray and the, con the little to-go containers. So right now, looking at this picture, I want you to make a plan for which colors you want to use. Now please stick to just one, two, or three colors. And we're just doing this because we wanna make sure in this situation that we have enough colors available for all of the classes. So you could paint your pot one of the same color, like all blue. You could paint two colors, or you could do a pattern with three colors. If you're at home, send me a message on Dojo, Teams, or The Hub with which colors you wanna use, and I'll leave them in the office with your pottery, and you can come and pick them up. If you did not make pottery, you can just watch the fourth grade lesson for this week. So at the end of this video, I'll put up the picture of those glaze colors and your CCR teacher can pause there or you can pause there and you can pick out which colors you wanna work with. You'll notice when you paint them on your pottery that they're not as bright and colorful as this picture here. It just means that they need to be fired in the kiln. Once it's fired in the kiln, that color will come out much brighter, much glossier and shinier than what it looks like when you first paint it on. So don't worry, you can look at those pictures and you can make a decision there. Some of you guys might be able to work on one of my palettes. There's the glazes right there. Just like you're painting, you'll dip your brush in your color, you'll paint it on your pottery. When you wanna switch colors, you're gonna have to dip it in a water cup. I'll bring water cups or you can use old water bottles like we've been doing. Some of you are going to get these little to-go containers that you might get sauces in and we'll put your colors in there. I want you just to use two or three colors. We don't wanna to go too nuts just because we don't have enough to go around while we're in the middle of the pandemic and we're staying in our classroom. So today, glaze your pottery, clean your brush every time you get a new color, Make sure that you paint the inside, the rim, and the walls. Leave the bottom alone and have fun.